Everyone, hi, Bruce Muffs and LCSW from Sunridge of Nirvana coming at you with another video. This one is from the group KG Elephant, and the song is Social Cues from their album Social Cues. Here we go. Again, you guys sending us the, the comments, please, 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 please do this song. So we're doing it because you guys have requested it. Now, I love this song since, it's just, since it fits perfectly in what I'm trying to do when working with people that have clinical and mental health issues. This is the hardest thing for me to teach anyone, someone. How do you relate to other people and situations and someone with cognitive issues is even harder. Like if you're on the spectrum, it's, in, it's even double, triple, quadruple times even harder. Now, for example, things that we take for granted sometimes, a lot of people do not. How do you handle meeting new people, for instance? When do you know to be quiet? All right. And how do you make someone feel good about themselves? It sounds simple. It's not. Okay. As a therapist, clinical social worker, I spend my day teaching people from all walks of life how to look for signs of things, such as signs of depression. Okay. Being suicidal, under the influence of drugs and alcohol. People learning how to understand when people are saying things without talking by their body language. It's truly an art and science. Now, now, and here's the thing, when I'm looking at this song, and there was a great line here, it goes like this, man, at least you're on the radio, meaning that somehow you have no real problems in life. It comes almost condescending, and that's what the guy was trying to kind of bring across, like, oh, you're on the radio, life must be perfect. Now, the, the guy, the head singer of it, said something very, very intelligent. He said, in an interview with 102.1 in March of this year, he said the song came from people, Brad said this, Brad Schultz, people having difficulty in life, that in some aspects have it together, that in, in people's minds, oh, you're famous, you're a rock star, your band's around for 15 years, you have it all together. So from people having difficulty in life, that in some aspects seem to have it all together. He also said, that success in one area of your life, that things are pitch perfect across the board, that people think that because, quote, quote, you're successful, everything else falls into place. Reality check. He got married. He also got divorced. He also had a child. So being on the radio, that line, and being the next best thing, still did not have, still did not have that from happening, did not stop that from happening. And going over the quote again, I think it's strange when people say, you're the next best thing, you'll never afraid. Listen to this. A friend of mine said this to me recently. It made a lot of sense. He said, we're talking about boxing. And he goes, it's easy, to be, it's easy to become the champ. That's easy. The hard thing is staying the champ. Because you got everyone coming at you trying to knock you off that perch. And it's strange because you worry about it, in his case, with the music. Or you could be an athlete, too, and still have that same issue. And is the music that I'm putting out, will it still be relevant? And we all think, we all think, do I still have it? Okay, now, there was an album that came out in 1974 from an artist that maybe a lot of you don't recognize. His name is Billy Joel. 1974, Street Life Serenade was called The Entertainer. Here's how it goes. Um, small sample of the lyrics. Today I am your champion, I may have won your heart, but I know the game, you'll forget my name, and I won't be here in another year if I don't stay on the charts. And then he has another quote, but if I go cold, I won't get sold, I'll get put in the back with the discount rack like another can of beans. One of the greatest and most successful artists of all time, and he struggled with the idea of being relevant and having staying power. We all go through this as we go through our careers. Notice in the, in the video itself of the six guys in the band, four of the members are wearing shades. Okay, they don't want to be seen. Why? Because the fear is that if you look out into the audience and you see things through their eyes, you wonder, is the audience no longer being entertained? You see the parallels here? Social cues, the shades, Billy Joel, entertainer. Am I still being entertaining? All right, quick Steve Martin story, the famous comedian. He's been in a lot of movies, blah, blah, blah. He said at one point he stopped touring for years. It's at the height of his success. He looked out into the audience, and there were some empty chairs, empty tables. He was performing at a nightclub. He's like, what happened? Have I peaked? I used to be selling out, selling out, selling out. Now I'm not selling out. Am I losing it? He stopped touring for a long time. Disney Plus now has a series 
where they have people from high school performing the same plays that they were in 20 years later. What do all the cast members say to a T? I wish I knew then what I know now to have confidence in myself, just to perform the play, white, tall, black, brown, too thin, too fat, too buck tooth, too stringy hair. Just do it. I should just have the confidence in myself to just go ahead and perform. All right. Realize this, guys. Everyone has fears and insecurities. Trust me on that one. No one, despite the fantasy that these people have a perfect life, that people have a perfect life who are on TV or entertainers. Wrong, not true. Okay, learn to ignore the haters, okay, and the boo birds, and forget about them and just put out music. And music is a metaphor for everything in life. And just believe in yourself. But let me tell you something. If you don't believe in yourself, no one ever will. You're your own worst enemy or your own best you know, support system. Always learn from others how to do it right. That's what kills people a lot. And do it right the first time. That comes from having solid mentors and an excellent clinical social worker. Hello. Okay. Also, last piece of advice. If you ever get to the point in your life that you're lucky enough to touch the sky, all right, make sure your feet touch the ground. You never want to get to the point that you lose track of reality and you get so out of touch that you become self-destructive to yourself. That happens way too often in life. Stay grounded, stay grounded. Brad, Brad Schultz, he comes across this way, very grounded guy. And guess what? This will affect the rest of the band and how they perform music. And they've been still around for 15 years and still pumping out great music. Oh, one quick aside, guess what? I still get anxious myself at times. It happens. That's it from here. All the best. Keep on watching. Keep on commenting. Sunridge of Nevada. Thank you.